Hi everybody, on this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a seamless backdrop. So what if you don't want to see that horizon line? Uh, let me I have a scene here which was in my previous tutorial, you're welcome to check it out. But we created our own light and kind of made a realistic looking scene using a light created from a material using mental ray. And if I render this, you'll see it looks good, but there is a seem like there's there's a line and you know we can see the end of our plane and what if we want a seamless backdrop well let's get into it what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna get rid of this plane and I'm gonna go directly to my side view so this is my front view I'm gonna go to my side view and I'll zoom out and what I'm gonna do is just gonna pan down a little bit and what we need to do is create, uh, I'm going to zoom out some, let's create uh, a spline that's going to kind of travel underneath our objects and then gradually move up in the air and go about this high. So here, if we come over to create and then a great tool is the EP curve tool. I'm going to use that. My cursor will turn into a crosshair and I'm going to start pretty far over here click and I'm gonna click a point and I'm gonna click my next point and you can kinda of see what's happening I'm gonna evenly space out these points and but make sure they're spread out pretty far you wouldn't want to click it too close because you'll get a bumpy scene so ready I'm gonna go out a little bit more and now I'm gonna to begin to click my points a little bit higher and again keeping them nice and spaced out that will ensure a nice rounded curve and you can see I've created this spline when I press return or enter you can see there it is it kind of brings it into object mode I'm gonna go back to my perspective view by pressing spacebar and you can see there it is move this to orbit I apologize for the lagging so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take my move tool and I'm going to select my spline and I'm going to move it over here, all the way over to the left. Okay. And then I'm going to alt, or, uh, alt, or excuse me, control D and duplicate the spline and I'm going to move this one all the way to the right. So now I have one spline here and a duplicate spline right over on the right. I'm then going to take my move tool and drag a big box through both of them, ensuring that I'm not selecting the objects in the scene. Only select the two splines. And when we're working with splines, we're typically not in the polygons drop down. We're going to move down to the surfaces drop down. I'm going to go up to the top here in our menu, and I'm going to find surfaces, and I'm going to find loft. And when I click on loft, it will loft these two splines together. I can now assign a new material and maybe I'll just assign a regular Lambert that is maybe white in color. And what I'll do is I'll get close now and I'll render. Great. As you can see, I now have a seamless backdrop that kind of fades into black and looks really nice. So that's how to create it. Uh, give it a try, and thanks for watching.